teachings, saints, what a good Friday, good Friday, good Friday, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, as I come to you this uh, evening in the mighty name of the 2nd of April 2021, the year of the Lord, hallelujah, as I come into your homes, wherever I find you at, let me just welcome each one of you in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, greetings, greetings, it is amazing to come in the presence of God with the heart of thanksgiving, hallelujah, what an Easter, what an Easter, what an Easter evening, please let somebody know that church has started, hallelujah, let somebody that we've started our Easter service, hallelujah, our Easter conference, it's with the difference, hallelujah, in your own comfort of your own house, hallelujah, what a way the Lord to speak to us in our own comfort of our own homes. Let us welcome Holy Spirit this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's all pray while you are where you are. Please tell somebody, please tell somebody we have just started. Hey, it's we have just started in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell somebody, tell somebody, there's no time to waste. Hallelujah. We are here as the children of God. There's never been any time we find ourselves blessed on such a fright like the second hallelujah of april 2021 easter with a difference in the mighty name of jesus we welcome you all in the mighty name of jesus please tell somebody share with somebody take somebody right now say we are here we are here in the mighty name of jesus greetings 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 hallelujah what we are going to do let's pray to actually welcome everyone around us this evening so that they can be ready for what god has for us tonight in the mind what a beautiful it's a beautiful night hallelujah we're going to be soaked in into the presence of the master this is the reason why easter becomes so special why is it so special let me tell you because we know that we have a god who died and resurrected that what makes christianity so unique that's what makes us unique and unique as well that whatever is dead is alive hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus so tonight what a beautiful what a beautiful what a beautiful let us all pray in the mighty name of jesus let's all pray right now father in the mighty name of jesus we are coming tonight father this is our easter conference that we are coming in the mighty name of Jesus, we are all coming tonight uh, from our different respective homes. Father, we are coming together as they are praying in their living rooms. As I'm praying from this studio tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to say, Lord, thank you. I want to say, God bless every one of them, Lord, wherever I find them tonight. Uh, Father, have, have your way tonight. Uh, I bind every spirit tonight uh, that obstruct your children from hearing the word of God. I pray for every conference from every platform, wherever many and women of God are worshiping tonight. Father, it's all about you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we come against every demonic activities happening in this season. While we are under these circumstances, Almighty oh God, you are still God seated upon the throne. You are the resurrected God. Speak to us in this season. Speak to us in this generation, Almighty oh God. We are desperate of more of you. Tonight, tonight, we are desperate, God. 2021 Easter. Father God, we've been taken away from our usual gatherings. But God, all things are working out for good for us. All things are working for good for our church, for our ministry, for our life, for our families. Father, in the mighty name, you are the hope we stand upon. You are the hope of our glory in the mighty name of Jesus. The author and the finish of our faith. Tonight, Almighty God, minister to us. Minister to us, Almighty God. We give you praise, Almighty God. Let let the Holy Spirit take over tonight. Our service, we need you. Wherever they are be, Father, participating in Africa, in America, in Asia, in, Father, right now in the Caribbean islands, wherever we find everyone tonight, we want to give you praise. We want to give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, everybody, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the day number one. Of our three days, I'm go we're going to be here. We are not going to leave you alone. Like uh, Sam, the Holy Spirit, he shall not be alone. And God is in our conference. God is in our midst. Hallelujah. He's doing something spectacular in this season. No one would have thought we could be in this, actually, this setting. But we want to thank God for everything. Please, let's stop complaining. I wish we were in the building. I wish I was doing what I used to do. But let's all appreciate God for where we are, for what is happening in this season. Let's just, let's not complain, Chen. 
and saints, hallelujah, it's no time. God is doing something new in this season. We are going to meet, hallelujah, probably the next few, just another couple of months or two months down the line. We'll be meeting in our buildings and do what we do. It's normal. But right now, let's appreciate God for where we are and what is happening and in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight, what we are going to do before we just do all anything, we just, let's get one worship song, one common worship song that we can all come in and fit in, hallelujah, and that goes on into our Easter, hallelujah, the death and the resurrection of our Christ, what makes everything unique tonight. So we want all of us, join us right here in the mighty name of Jesus. If you don't understand the words, you just will hear and connect, just hum with us or oh, feel the melody, feel in the Holy Spirit, say, Holy Spirit, I am here, I am you know, I am thirsty. I want to know more of you. Feel me over this Easter. It's an Easter with a difference because we are not doing the usual and the common way we do things. But the Holy Spirit is in our own homes, in our lonely moment, wherever you are, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So come with me as I'm going to sing with you this evening. Sing together in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just want to thank God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The song we are going to have, he says, my soul, my soul magnifies the Lord. We want to magnify the Lord tonight because everything he has done is all about him. It's all not about us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Wherever I find you at tonight, it's all my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Because even death, even death, even the grave could not hold him captive. Let me tell you, whatever you are going through, hallelujah, you are carrying Jesus. Even the grave could not withhold him. It could not set him. He could not be set there. He could not live there forever. I've come to give someone some hope tonight and tell you, whatever holds you tonight, Hallelujah. If you overcome the grave, if you overcome death, hallelujah, you can overcome anything. Tonight, I just want to thank God for you. We want to all come together and understand why we are here tonight. Wherever you are, I wherever I find you, the situation you are. But let us go straight into the word of God. Please, it is our time to worship God alone above this nobody. Let me tell you, don't worry about what you are going through. Don't worry about what's going around you. Don't worry about who is around you and who's not around you you because what is happening right now let me tell you when the moment has come it only take you and stand there with your God and say where are you my daughter where, where have you been I thank God for you tonight we want to go straight into the word of God on our good Friday it's a good Friday wherever I find you hallelujah I tell you it's a good Friday greet somebody and say thank God you are here 2021 hallelujah Easter just greet somebody tell somebody what you can tell whoever you find then say thank God we are gathered in this conference it's a different way to do things life is going in a different way because we've got a God God who has ever been God all the time in during the season whatever the time it is but I thank God for your life today hallelujah to God be the glory let us quickly go into the word of God and see what God has for us tonight it's a night to just to remember one thing I've done tonight is to read to give you something to think about because what makes this kind of Easter, it's the time to know that it's not about celebrating holidays. It's not about that because I've got a long holiday. I know some of us, we can't wait. It has been a long-waited holiday in our lives. They say, I thank God because it takes four days. I'm away from work. For some, it's a time to go and make double shifts, double whatever. I thank God for everyone, whatever you put yourself into. But tonight, I've got news for each one of us today. Because one thing, Jesus Christ is the reason for the Easter. Hallelujah. It's not about any other things. Yes, we have got other things we are valuing and worshiping but i'm here as your pastor to remind you right now let me tell you heaven and earth shall pass away hallelujah all the things we see will pass away but the kingdom of heaven the way every word will remain the same hallelujah they will come to pass whatever he has spoken we are going to be standing and be accountable for the time that we are wasting away doing other things that are all vanity because we are missing what god has called us to do i want to thank god for each one i'm telling you that's why even solo 
Solomon said, vanity, vanity. He was the wealthiest man in the world to this day. No one have ever beaten King Solomon. He was the richest man. You can talk of all the Arabs. You can talk of all the whatever. But I'm telling you, Solomon could, but he said, all is vanity. Because let me tell you one day, anything, when we go six under, there's nothing that you can carry with. It's only your soul. But where is your spirit? Where is your spirit going to go? This is one thing we don't want to lie. We don't want to come over this Easter and tell each one of us what we want to hear. It's all about Jesus. Please, let's take Jesus right now to be the centerpiece of what we do. Hallelujah. We are in the last days where mankind today, they are all fugitizing and doing everything that they're doing. But let's come together today and actually show each other what are we doing while we are celebrating Easter. When are we celebrating? How many Easter's have we had? How many conferences have we been? How many men of God have we even invited to come into our conferences? How many musicians have come to sing for us and we still found ourselves still miserable with the life? Let me tell you, Jesus is the center of this conference. Jesus is the center of our Easter. If we take him back into our Easter and know the value of what Easter is all about, then we can find our way out of what's going on in the world. Let us go and see. I put there just a, on a good Friday. What is just a way to bring up even a topic to somebody and say, where do I stand? Where do I stand? Hallelujah. This Easter, where do you find yourself standing? I've come with a, just an easy question that I'm asking. Where do you find uh, just yourself? Where do you find standing? Are you standing under the, the cross? Are you right at the cross or are you are one of them who ran away from the cross? Hallelujah. Jesus had too many disciples. They were kept going around with him. He was doing all the good things. Let me tell you, it's so sad when you used to have people around you. And the next minute when he come to the cross, only nobody is there. Hallelujah. When he come to the cross, this is why Christianity, this is why our faith is being questioned today. And find out, are we really Christian? Are we really Christian? Can we still run until to the cross? Are we still running under the foot of the cross? How many are still standing? under the foot of the cross tonight I'm coming to you I'm coming wherever I find you who are who are still standing at the foot of the cross Oh, Rabbi Shatara, tonight I feel the Holy Ghost fire just already moving in our minutes, moving in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus let us quickly go into the reading because where do you find yourself standing Ah, you are a child of God. We are pastors. We are ministers in every other calling we have. And there comes 2021. Then we find that Easter that we used to have is no longer the same Easter. Our Easter has been defiled. Our settings have been defiled. This is why we can't see no enthusiasm in people. Because what we were used has been disturbed. And this is why we find, are we still at the foot of the cross? Or you said, enough is enough. I shall not worship no more. I shall not give praise no more because I should have been holding my microphone doing what I've always done every Easter and just shouting in front of people and do what I do when Jesus is not in our church in the name of Jesus so tonight where do we find ourselves into where do we find ourselves please tell somebody this evening and say where do you stand? ask somebody say where do you stand in the body of Christ where do you stand hallelujah where do you stand hallelujah in the body of Christ where do we stand in this time where are you standing where's your footing let us read Matthew because there's something I love which makes it this Easter this evening very going to, to actually going to disturb our settings all the time as usual let us quickly go into the word of God. Matthew chapter 27, verse number 32. There's something we find from this passage of the Bible. Where we find because, you know, at the end, Jesus had too many people. But at the end of it, he could not find any of his disciples around him. He could not find the people he fed 5,000. He could not find the choir. He could not find the ushers. He could not find the hospitality team. At the end of the cross, something is amazing that is going to be actually an eye-opening to each one of us. Let us go into the passage and read and read what happened. You know, one thing I'm just writing verse number 32 of Matthew 27. He said, as they were coming out, they found a man of Cyrene named Simon, Simon, whom they compelled to carry his cross. This is the time we find. Then I've got a cross reference that I'm going to read for you. Right, we've got two, three accounts that we are going to find from Matthew, John, and Luke. 
please help me to do this. John chapter 19, verse 38 to 42. He says, After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who earlier had come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of maize may and, and aloes, aloes, about seven, 75 pounds in weight. So they took, they took the body of Jesus and bound it in the linen clothes with the spices, as it is, it is the burial custom of the Jews. Now, in the space, in the place where he was crucified, there, were, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had been yet been laid. So because of the Jews, for the Jewish permission, the Jewish uh, day of preparation, since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right, we, I'm, I've got this cross references, you find. Then let's go, Luke chapter number 20. Luke is giving his own account again on the same statement. Luke chapter number 23, verse 50 to 53. Now there was a name called Joseph from the Jewish town of Arimathea. And he was a number of he was a member of the council, a good and righteous man. He had not uh, consented to their decision and action. He was looking for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus Christ, for, of, of the of Jesus. Then he took it down and wrapped it in a linen and shrewd and laid him in the tomb, cut it and cut in stone where no had ever yet been laid. We thank God for the reading of the word tonight. Um, and we thank God for the reading of the word tonight. What's so important about what we are going to talk about tonight is understanding because we know the life we have lived. We know this 2020, 2021, we've been its second year. We did not have no Easter. We don't have no Easter conferences that we've always had. No gatherings, no setups, nothing else. Children of God, this is where we find ourselves and ask our question. And then one thing that I love about this whole thing, it's the time we have found the church of God. We have found the boat of Christ at the time of trials. The time we are finding and look and find out what material that are we made out of. Because in this season, this is the time of reality checks of what we think and what we thought we were and only to find out that there was some material that was not heavenly material and then in that he not heavenly material the time of the time of trials and the tribulation has hit home tonight in the mighty name of Jesus where we are now being asked where do we stand where do we stand in the body of Christ where are we standing as men and women of God where are we standing as leaders and of of, 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 of of any religion you stand in this time because everything we were trusting on is now come to a, like a dead end now we find a situation where we find in this accounts because the subtitle of this whole message is the power of the cross because the cross has got the power but when it has got the power it has got the cost we need the power of the cross we need the power of the resurrection but we don't need the cost how it costs now we find that there are two people we find in the scripture you don't hear them anyway you don't see them holding microphone you don't see them where jesus is walking with the disciples we do they have no story they have no story they have no story i'm come here to provoke our environment because each one of us we thought standing in front of people doing what we do as the world see us is what calls us we are disciples but let me tell you god it's going to come to a time when it's all leading to the cross how many can still be standing how many can still be standing i've come to somebody if you are about to give up it's time to stand and say pastor thank you for reminding me to come back on to have my stand i'm coming here on this friday the church of god men and women of god those who are called by the name of jesus those who are washed in the blood of jesus i'm calling you tonight in the mighty name of jesus that god is at work god is about to do what he has always been able to do because we find here it's the time 
of the crucifixion. In the time of Jesus have to die for your sins and my sins. And the people who have been with him, just at the last, at the end, they are not found. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I it only take at the time of trials that you have lost friends, you have lost family, you have lost a husband, you have lost, you have lost your health in time of trials, you have lost all your hope, you have lost everything, anything that you looked up to, you have almost lo lost it. But tonight I'm coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Marakusikata, maseke amaratanda musika. Tonight I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Where do you find yourself standing? Because now it comes now to the time to go to the cross time for jesus is under trials is under the persecution he's in the hands of the pilots he's in the hands of the romans and all the Sadducees and people who had anything all the jews who wanted him killed and now we find peter has run away all the disciples are in hiding these are dark moments we have seen church today is in the hiding we are we are in the hiding we are seeing men and women of god right now we are all in the hiding i thank god for today because it's an opening of the church of god it can be the beginning of your christian walk that honestly pastor john i thought i was strong enough until this coronavirus pandemic had come into my life i thought i was still standing in the mighty name of jesus tonight tonight i've come here to talk to somebody i've come here to talk to somebody i said this is the night where we actually coming because all the people we thought we had in the beginning all the people he had called the 12 disciples we don't find none of their names appearing at the cross we don't find them at the time of the cross hallelujah where do we stand where are you giving up where are you giving up why are you giving up so early before you get to the time where it's all be going to be happening in the mighty name of Jesus you have signed up for Christ you have signed up for the kingdom of God but why are we giving up so quick in that no that's because we have all the pandemic that because we've got all this other present let me tell you jesus is lord and savior of your life without him we are all not done and we are not nothing but tonight i've come to tell somebody now there's something so intriguing because sometimes what we think and what we've always thought with it's not what we are until the time of test has come now we find Jesus is under the attack of mankind. Everyone is beating left, right, and center. But where it really hurts most, when you need somebody at the right time, that's only when you don't find nobody. All the people who he has served, people he has healed, there's even the 12 he had actually, let alone the one who betrayed him and sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Hallelujah. He could not be found at the foot of the cross. Peter, the Peter who said, I shall die with you, the master. He could not be found at the foot of the cross. Oh, are we still standing? Are we still standing? Now we find that we are finding the time Jesus is about to pull up the cross. That's why the Bible say, anyone who want to follow me, carry out your cross. Let me carrying up the cross is not a cheap job. Let me tell you, it take all giving up everything. Hallelujah. All the feelings, all the mood swings of our life. When it comes to this moment, let me tell you, this is the time we want to see what you are actually made out of tonight. God is about to change our lives. God is about to reposition our lives. Hallelujah. We thought we knew everything. We thought mankind knew everything. Only until when the pandemic hit, we found out that we are just vulnerable as anything else but let me tell you in your final ability there's the power of the cross coming to your rescue in the mighty name of jesus in your vulnerability there's a god who still has say i've got mercy on you i've got mercy upon your life in the mighty name of jesus I say, tonight i'm talking to some people i'm talking to some people but one thing we are learning out of these passages it's only the people you never thought they would be in your circle they've come to your rescue uh, no wonder why we are seeing the way. Do you know how many people you have lost along the side of the road right now, even during the 12 months past? How many people you have lost? Friends, because 
it, we were, thought we were friends. We thought we were together somewhere along the line until we were all being tried and tested. Then we found ourselves in the need. We found ourselves in need in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. I said, I'm coming to you tonight. I'm coming. I said in the past 12 months, hallelujah, who has been under, at the, you know, by the cross with you? Who has been with the cross with you? Who has been carrying the cross of Jesus for the past 12 months? How many prayers have we done? How many two things have we done? Only to find the people we could not see. The people we did not know. Let me tell you, Jesus is carrying the cross. He's going right to the, you know, to the mount where he's going to be crucified. Now let me tell you, I find there there's a man called Simon of Cyrene. He comes. He's one of those people found along the side as he was minding his own business. Hallelujah. 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 Simon the Cyrene was minding his own business. Like you were minding your own business. And the Lord called you to say, come and carry my cross. And do I have people who are saying, Pastor, I don't need you to be ready. I don't need to be a Christian for too long. But wherever you pick me, I am here. Do I have people who are saying, here I am. Because this man did not turn the road having seen the cross of Jesus. He said, I don't know this man much. But one thing I know about him, I am going to carry and help him. Are you helping somebody? Are we standing during the time because the cross the cross tells you who can be with you at the foot of the cross we have been i said we've been lying to ourselves and now we've been lying to ourselves that we are going to be standing together in high waters in this and that it's been all lies it's been all lies but tonight we are coming hallelujah what an easter conference when he talks about Jesus, there's nothing else. Because he said, he just, you know what? He was only the sermon of Cyrene. He was minding his own business. But the time of the cross when he came, Peter is not Jay. Who is speaking the cross? Hallelujah. Simon of Cyrene. He said, I'll carry for Jesus. And Jesus said, all the weepings at his back. All his flesh being torn out around him. He could not. He was dragging with the crown of throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All it was all about you and me. Children of God tonight we know what the what Easter is all about. He had carried he had the throne, a crown of throne. Hallelujah. Of thorns upon his head. Hallelujah. His blood all over his body. Being whipped up for your life. Being whipped up for your disease. Being whipped up for your sins. Hallelujah tonight. But no one is found at the foot of the cross. Where is Peter? Where is Peter? Where is James? Where is John? Hallelujah. Children of God, where are you? Where are we, children of God? We are in the last days. We are in the end times. Look at the world that we are in. What we have stood upon, what we have always trusted, has left us. What we have always stood and trusted has been wiped away. How am, you know what? The markets have been, all the economy have crashed. All our belongings have been taken away. Who is still standing? Who is still standing and say, Though yet they slay me, yet I shall trust in the living God. As Job says, Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Do I have Christians who said, Yet your, oh, though they slay me, yet they slow me, but yet will I still continue to trust him? Tonight, do I still have people who say, Pastor, I don't care what it's going to cost me. I'm going to stand around and make sure the gospel of Christ shall be preached to the other end of the world. Sinners be served until my master comes back. Tonight, I, where are you standing? That's my question. To see at the power of the cross. To see right at the cross. Who is still standing by you? Who is still standing by the church? Who is still standing by the men and women of God? Where are we? We thought we had pastors. We thought we had ministers. We thought we had complicants. But where are they at the foot of the cross? At the foot of the cross. Now we find different people now are part of the crucifixion. But all the three years of, of ministry of Jesus, we don't hear about Simon of Cyrene. We don't hear of Joseph of Arimathea that he was a disciple. There's no way he's recorded in the Bible. Please, I am blessed to have you right now this evening because you don't have to know what our church used to be. You don't have to know what our building has been like. You did not have to know what kind of a praise and worship team we had the past ten years, the past nine years. 
But let me tell you, you are at the right place right now. Because all we needed right now, Easter 2021, are the people who can only stand at the foot of the cross. Are you, if you are on there, please tell somebody, say, I am blessed to be at the foot of the cross. Because right now, some people even can't, don't want to do anything about the church right now. He said, do you know what? If God was there, why has the church closed? If God was there, why has all things have happened around me? But let me tell you, there are still people who can only be found at the foot of the cross. Hallelujah. How many are dying on the, along the way? But let me, God is lifting his own Joseph of Arimathea. He's lifting up the Simon of Cyrene. Hallelujah. If you are the Simon of Cyrene, thank God you are here. Woman of God, thank God you are here. Thank God you are still making the gospel Christ go to the other end. We recover Sotoro tonight. I said, Who, where do you stand? Where do you stand? Some have fell by the roadway side. Oh, some have fell by the roadside. But tonight, it is, I love this. The Cyrene man, Simon, carries the cross. Let us quickly go. And then we find this one very intriguing because on the Friday, this is the Friday he gets buried. But there's something I love it because, you know, one thing I love it, I love it, I love it. Because one thing I love, it's about this another second person we find into this whole thing. This another place where we find it's very interesting. It's the man called Joseph of Arimathea. Because Joseph of Arimathea, having been a disciple, but he went secretly. I love because he said he went secretly. These are the people you don't find in the vicinity of Christ for the past three years, having to be like Peter having to be like this, like that. They were not in all the other kind of things. I love people who are saying, Pastor, I'll stand by you. Hallelujah. Even when it's really low, I will stand by you. If it doesn't matter, I might not be seen in the in front of a microphone. I might not be seen in front of a TV. But Pastor John, you are the man of God. I stand upon. We stand around you and make sure the work of God is being done. Even in the pandemic, even in the during the pandemic, we are still standing, making sure the gospel of Christ shall be heard. Hallelujah. So many men and women of God have given up during this time. The congregants have deserted. Hallelujah. But let me tell men of God who are here, there are men of God who shall come and watch later. But let me tell you, God is bringing Sir Joseph of Aramathia. Just God is bringing, hallelujah, Simon of Cyrene. Don't worry about Peter. Don't worry about Matthew. Don't worry about John. Don't worry about James. James has left. James has gone somewhere. They are in the hiding. Some are in the hiding during this time. I can't see them. You can't see them. But don't worry because Joseph of Aramathia will always appear in your life. Simon of Cyrene will come and say, I'll carry the cross. I'll carry the cross. How many? And where do we stand? Where do we stand? You know, the cross. Peter has been breaking. Jesus, if you are going to die, let me tell you, I'm going to be the man who's going to be by your side. Ah, don't worry, I'll die for you. Peter is breaking. I mean, let me tell you, we go people who actually break around and say, I'll do this, I'll do that. This is where we find, but when he come to the cross, the cross is a reality check. Are we really of the cross? Are we really of the cross? Are we really of Christ Jesus? Or we have got only the world material. The world material can only be tried and tested. No wonder why we fell off by the roadway side. No wonder why the churches that we're standing on right now on material stuff, they are no longer standing because they fell by the roadway side. Hallelujah. The time to stand by the cross, right at the foot of the cross. Are we there? I say, in my small room, in my own room, I'll be there. I'll create it being an altar. I'll create my own altar in my own home. And the altar is not in the church. We have factors for long, hallelujah, where we can speak in tongues right on the pulpit that everyone is seeing Makanda, Masokoto, Bakata in front of people and we showed up. Peter, you've been showing up for too long, hallelujah, but the time has come and I'm telling you Easter, 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 makes the church what it is right now, makes who we are, hallelujah, what material we are made out of because Hallelujah. Simon of Cyrene said, I do, I've not been in the business of following Jesus for too long, but where I am, I will continue to do that. I'll pick up from where the boys have left. I know there are some people who are here and say, Pastor John, I thank God I connected with you for such a time and day. I never knew I would connect with you because this is the time we are going to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the other end. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It shall cost a lot of people. It shall cost a lot of our health. It shall cost a lot of friends. But right now, let me tell you, we only need who are going to stand by the foot of the cross. 
Ah, the foot of the cross cost the disciples. People who were breaking, Jesus, you're my friend. Ah, even the man, you see, you see, you see, you see, I love because he, he said he could take John and Peter and the other disciple, James, the three. Hallelujah. <laughs> they could not be found at the foot of the cross. But even Jesus, when he was actually taking them and saying, every time you're doing things, he said he had only three. Later alone, he said, Jesus, he said, John, the disciple he loved, but still he was not there. Ah, I've come to talk to the church of God. We thought we love God. We thought we needed Jesus. But now the past two, now we are in the second year. No, no Easter conference. No entertainments. Hallelujah. Where are the entertainments? Where are our lights? Where are our chairs? Where are our gold chairs? They've been all vanished. But who's still standing? Even when they are not there. Oh, hallelujah. Where are the people? Where is the church of God now? Do you know I'm coming tonight because one thing I could preach is to know that who are standing until to the end because Jesus is coming, child of God. Let me tell you, I don't have to lie to you. I'm not here to entertain nobody, but I'm here just to make sure we are all ready for the second coming of the Messiah. We are ready right now. When we come answerable and accountable, we have every reason to stand and say, Lord, thank you. I've been there when you called me. Even when it was in my lowest, I don't care whether I find you in prison today. Let me tell you, Jesus is right there in the prison because there were people who have found Joseph of Arimathea. Now we find the serene, you know, Simon has done his part carrying the cross. Jesus now is hanged. And the next thing what is now left is the grave. Carrying comes Simon of Cyrene carries the, the, the cross. Oh, his hand is dead now. Jesus is dead. On a flight like this it was one thing. I love one thing because this man he was one person who was working in the high offices. Hallelujah. Of the pilots. Of the pilot offices they said no. Let me just do what I can do best. I know I'm a follower of Jesus. I've not been on the forefront. Because the problem where I have in Church of God, we have got people who want to run at the forefront when they are just as fake as anything else. They run on the forefront to be seen every day. Like they are doing anything. But to be honest, when the cross comes, when the time of the cross, they disappear. Hallelujah. I'm talking to the church because this has really killed the Christianity. There are people who say, as long as all is goosey, 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 and cozy, cozy. Their church is good. Our church is good. Our pastor is good. I am our Makata. Come to our church. They will tell you come. But when it comes to the pandemic and the corona, you can't find them on a prayer group. You can't find them anywhere. They are all dead and sunk. Where are they at the foot of the cross? Where are we at the foot of the cross? Are we still preaching God? Well, we are now everywhere in the world trying to find out what can entertain us to take the pressure off our head. We can go back to the foot of the cross. Hallelujah, children of God. The time is now. I thank God for tonight because... And there's no way to start such a, a conference for me, you know, to come and do this. It's, it's amazing because it brings up that it is our time to go back. If you are there and you are here, it's time to recalibrate our relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's the time we actually come and recalibrate our relationship with God. Because we thought we knew much. We thought we were good enough only in two times of trials. Until our marriage was come to a point where we are having a reality check. Do you really love me or do you? Because now our relationship has been tested. The relationship of Jesus and his disciples has been tested. The people he was doing hospitality all the time. How ah, when they needed food, he called Father in heaven. Providing they provided. Now the time of no provision, the cross has come. They are all disappeared. How many have disappeared in the face of your life tonight? How many have disappeared right now? Men of God, how many are left around you? Hey, woman of God, how many are left around you? Even men, the men of God have deserted their own children. Hallelujah. How many have left? Because whatever they want is no longer at their disposal. But tonight I've come to tell somebody, God is raising the Simon, the Cyrene man. The Cyrene man, if you are the woman of God, if you are one of them, please just shout, I am here, Pastor John. On to make sure I am into the last lap of this message. Message, hallelujah. We find Simon of Cyrene carrying the cross. The next man who comes into the picture is Joseph Arimathea. One thing that I love in the Jewish customs, because each one of us you have to buy your grave before time. Uh, it's, it's still there. You buy your grave earlier. So now, Joseph Arimathea, what he did, he said, well, 
Pilot, please excuse me. Can I have my Savior's body? I love one thing. Joseph Almatia, you don't find him anywhere, anywhere. You don't find him anywhere. There's no way. He's just another man behind the scenes. That's why I love intercessors. That's why I love people who just say I, they sit back, but they do great things. They don't shout too loud. They don't shout too loud. Do you know we have very good if, 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 in a society that is very good in shouting too loud? I said this Easter, we are going to make things right. No, it's not what you shout too loud when everyone sees you. Because we don't see you when the time of trials, time of reality checks. And we find that Peter is normal. It's normal. I'm not surprised we are normal. I'm not surprised we are where we are. God help us tonight. 2021. It's a different setting. It's a different sitting. We could have been sitting in order in the church. But some of you are just even watching me. Or just, if I say watch, it's wrong. You are there participating in this service in your bed. Some of you in your gowns, morning gowns. You know, some of you under the duvets. Some of you just sitting somewhere. You are crying and saying, God, this is where I'm having church from. Is this real? Some of you are on your break time at work. You are like, this is how are we are doing. We used to have conferences. Our present worship this time could have been burning some really wires and guitars. And all the strings are look like they've got the dust. Our drums, it's only reds and stuff that are hanging on the, on the drums. They're having all they can jambaroos over there. But tonight I've come and said, children of God, he has found you at the right place. You are the Joseph Armatia going to ask for the body of Christ and say, I need my master. Are you there who is asking, say, Jesus, I'll carry. I'm here still to preach. It doesn't matter the pandemic. I'm still standing the church of God. I'm still preaching. I'm still praying. I'm still fasting. I'm still a Christian. This thing does not, has not taken away who we are. I don't care what conspiracy is going in the world, but until, until, unless, until they tell me, shut up, I'll continue to open my mouth and preach Christ across the world. Hallelujah. Grenada, Trinidad, Vincent, wherever, Guila. I don't care, America, in the mighty name of Jesus, Africa, here in Europe, I'll continue to stand in the mighty name of Jesus. The time we are carrying the cross, the gospel to the other end. Hallelujah. Sinners be saved. So come to the house of God. The sick be healed. The lame walk. The blind eyes open. We are still preaching that gospel. Deliverance coming to people's house. Because the foot of the cross. We're at the foot of the cross. That's where we are finding breakthroughs. Why are you running away? Because that's where breakthrough comes. Breakthrough doesn't come so cheap. Hallelujah. Some of us, we just say, Pastor, I need a miracle. Do you think a miracle can only just drop from heaven? You go to work for something, child of God. You cannot just have it on your lap. Forget about it. It costs something for the deliverance we have today. It costs somebody to go on the Calvary. It costs Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross, which was not his. It took Joseph Armatia to only go and ask for the body. Our deliverance did not come so cheap. Why do we need so cheap? Why do we need everything just to come prophesy to me? Please don't be lied against because it takes something. It has not come so cheap and it will never be cheaper. Hallelujah. Let's all come and do. Where do we stand at the church of God? Where is your position? Where are you, child of God? Why are you pretending like I can sing better? I can preach better. But we are now in the hiding. We are hiding somewhere there when we should be carrying the cross. And say, Lord Jesus, Easter is the reason for this season. Children of God, I know it's a good Friday. But it's a good Friday for those who understand the Jesus they serve. It's not good for you when you are in hiding. Peter is in hiding, feeling sorry and saying, I was the man who was saying I shall be with you until death. Oh, you are lying. Ah, it's the same, the same place. The, the things that you are saying, ah, till death do the, oh, let me tell you, until you do that thing twice, child of God, you are now crying for the things you thought you are going to, you know, be satisfied. Let me tell you, through Christ Jesus, you get satisfaction. Let me tell you, Joseph of Arimathea just comes into play and say, here I am. Here I am, children of God. He said, here I am tonight. Here I am. He took the body of Christ. And the next thing, who else? 
we know Nicodemus. We want to mock brother Nicodemus. That you are like the Nicodemus. The man who tried to play it low. And he came in the night. We know the man in Nicodemus, John chapter 3, verse numbers. You know, he said, how can a man be born again? And say, shall I go in the mama's womb back? He's the man. No, Nicodemus. Yes, it, you know, it's Nicodemus. Now, Nicodemus, one thing he does, he's not found, he's only found there in John chapter. <laughs> here we are finding people who were not even. Do you know here, I'm, I'm loving it because even here, I find there are people I could not find at some time t seven years ago. I couldn't find you, you were not here, but you are the people I see in the pandemic. So I thank God because you are the very candidates who qualify here and be, because I still know they are still there. But at the end of the day, in this moment, something is happening because we find the Nicodemus, the man who could not do much, but only just, he was as dumb as anybody who can be dumb. You know, but at the end of the day, he's the one who say, no, okay, Joseph, you do about the, the body, but I do about the spice. Uh, where do you stand in spicing the body of Christ? Where do we stand? Are you still spicing the church of God? Are you still spicing? Uh, we are bringing the church of God to the place. This, this, this are, this, these are kind of conferences very not popular because we are not only talking about blessings. Because only when we come, you know, if it was about blessing, people could have not run away from the platform. But if here we are talking about what it costs to get a blessing. Because some of us, we just want people, to pastors, to speak blessing. Hallelujah. But we are here. How blessing come? I want to remind you, blessing, they come through. They come through the cross come through the cross but are you part of carrying the cross are you part of going to the grave because somebody say i do the spicing but one thing that i love because they go there again and one thing because now jesus doesn't even have a grave he was the only one in the city who didn't have a grave everyone has bought their grave why jesus is the only one who doesn't have a grave so that makes it nice and sweet because there's another one who saying i'll borrow jesus my grave Ah, where do you stand? Are you giving Christ your grave? Are you spicing his body? Are you carrying the cross? These are the three things I want to lay out tonight. In these three days, we are going to learn a lot because there's so much we need to recalibrate the church of God. We need to learn and learn. Are you, are you spicing the body of Christ? What do you do when you are in church? What do you do when you are a child of God? Do you sit there and watch pastors sweating like little stuff? Come on. What do you do in your church? Do you just sit there and warm the bench and say, let's see what they bring this Sunday. Please have a break. Have a break. There are people who just found in the post of the way. As I open this Easter tonight, by the time we are ending this, somebody shall know what we are talking about. Are you one spicing the body of Christ? Are you one carrying the body of Christ? Are you the one carrying the cross? What do you do? Or you are just a miracle. Give me some water, pastor. Uh, give me some oil. Some of us, we are soaked in some oil like we don't need no oil no more. If you add up the oil you were given, you could have 100 liters in your house by now. But still, you are still there. You're still there. Let me tell you, Turk, when you carry the cross, when you carry and spice the body of Christ, I'm telling you, children of God, it's time to come up and stand up and say, I have to be real in Christianity. I've been too religious for too long. I've been doing the cross. It's not carrying the cross. It's not the cross we put over here and have our earring. Some of us, our ears are going down with a big earring. But it's, you know what, it's killing your ears anyway. Some, they've got crosses on their nose. And some, they've got necklace. But you know what, they don't change you nothing. There's a true cross. When things go the other way, are you still standing? Are you still there? Children of God, it's all about Christ tonight. We are tired of just following Christ when we have no relationship with Christ. And we are just knowing. Please, it's time to recalibrate. I'm honestly, we'll never change this kind of message until Jesus comes. Because I'm telling you, I'll be accountable the day of judgment when God said, you were telling my people, what were you standing before the camera and do? They were watching all over the world. And that's what you were talking about, what they want to hear. But let me tell you, it's about Jesus. It's not about pastor. Sorry, so it's about no ministry. You don't hear about church. Half the time I don't preach about the church. I preach about Christ because Christ is the reason for this Easter. Hallelujah. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Because J Joseph looked just, there was a, a grave. 
uh, you know, the grave. He went in the grave that don't belong because he knew he was going to come out in the third day. He was going to have his grave back. Hallelujah. Whatever you give to the Lord, he'll give you back. Hallelujah. Whatever you do in the house of the Lord, he'll give you back. Somebody gave away his tomb. He gave away the tomb. You know, because that, you know what? He gave away. It's a tomb they bought when they died. But he said, you know, if I give it to Jesus, anything you are doing for God, there's nothing that goes in vain, child of God. Those sleepless nights praying and fasting, they're not going in vain. Your children are coming back. Hallelujah. Your life is going to have a turnaround because whatever you are doing to spice the body of Christ, to spite and carry the body, hallelujah, it's bringing it back. Holy Spirit, help us tonight. Holy Spirit, help the church today to come back to the foot of the cross and be real in the mighty name. Ah, we are, you know what the problem we are having? We have too many scriptures. We have too many, how many we recite scriptures, but we don't, we cannot stand at the foot of the cross. Too much stuff has killed us. We are too loaded for the things that are actually killing us. We are justifying our ground even any time we need to do something. They will quote the scripture that justifies our weaknesses. But tonight I'm not here for justification. Because if you are not there to spice the blood of Christ, where do you stand? If you are not there to carry the cross, what's your position? When you think you're going to church, what is your position? What do you do when you go to church? When do you, what do you call, how do you, why do you call yourself a Christian? What, what? Just tell me. This Easter, let's do it because we are coming out of this corona. We are going to walk in the buildings. But when you walk, even if you don't walk in our church, whatever church you are going, are you not jumping and running away only just because you don't want to be responsible? Because do you know one thing? Sometimes we run away from certain ministries because we don't want to be accountable and be responsible. That's what has killed the church today. And this is why we see there's a marathon from one church to another, from one prophet to another. You know, your legs are swollen. You have changed the shoes and shoes, jumping wires and borders, going to the other side. You've been spit by every prophet. You have been oiled by every man of God. But one thing, because we don't want to get the cross. We don't want to spice the body of Christ. It is simple. Are we obedient? No. Are we submissive? No. Hallelujah. Are we, you know, that's, that's one thing. Are we really there for the cross? Are we really there for Christ to the end? Are you still preaching God? Let me tell you, you're going to church hiding your Bible. They don't want to know you that you are a Christian even. That's one set part. They don't want to. You are hiding away. You are in hiding about bringing Christ to real thing. This evening, Friday. I want to thank God because what a beautiful Friday in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we are finding Jesus Christ right in the grave. He was even, they borrowed him. They just said, you can have it. You can have it. Let's put Jesus in there. When they put, let me tell you, they knew he was going to come back. And it came back on the third day. There's always the third day because when you carry the cross, the cross has got the power. Let me tell you. Because what it is right now, before Christ came into the earth, mankind was just another contaminated and but deadly uranium core sin. Sin was there because the cross is, was the only place wherever our sins were just going to be actually going to be carried and taken our, our pain. That's why I say in your service, what you do, your service will speak on your behalf. Whatever you do, it will speak because those were helped for his trials of the crucifixion and this burial. Let me tell you, that's why we are where we are today. Jesus is raising up some people. I'm talking, I said Jesus is raising some people tonight. I'm talking to this right now. I, I wouldn't want to go anywhere further than this. But with this message I said, where do you stand? I'm telling you, Jesus is counting on you. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is counting on you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The kingdom of God is counting on you, child of God. You are the one to carry the gospel to the other end of the world. He said, I'm not coming back until this gospel is preached to the other end of the world. But where do you stand? What are you doing tonight? Tonight, tonight as I round my message. What are we doing tonight? That's all I can do tonight. I thought I could go further than this because this message is too long. I said it tonight. That's all I can say to you. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Are you still finding yourself standing? Are you still finding yourself standing? Child of God, I say it tonight. I'm say tonight, are you spicing? Are you spicing? 
Are you carrying the cross? What are you doing? Are you still preaching? Are you still giving leaflets? Are you still posting the gospel? Are you still sharing Jesus at your workplace? What are you doing? Hallelujah. Are you still praying? Are you still doing anything? Tonight, children of God, it's Easter with a difference. I couldn't find no another place. I couldn't find another moment in my life to keep quiet for what is real. Because this is where we are. We are in the trial and the end of times where the devil wants to silence the church. Whatever is happening right now in the world, be careful, children of God. If you think you're waiting for this corona to go away and then you start doing what is right, time is not on your side. Please, I'm just asking you, don't wait for the vaccine to come. Hallelujah. Don't, waste, don't wait for the second one to come. Say, ah, wait until I have the second job to worship. Because right now I'm not too sure whether I'm going to leave. But let me tell you, it's the time we are saying, whatever it cost Pastor John, whatever it cost child of God, you can be the Simon of Cyrene tonight as I'm going to pray for you. You could be Joseph Armatia, hallelujah, who, who asked for the body of Christ and given the, given the tomb to Jesus. You could be Nicodemus who's going to say, well, I'm bringing the spice. What are we doing right now, church of God? Where do we stand, church of God? Are we just watching church collapsing? Are we just watching church collapsing, honestly? Are we, are we watching right now the whole world being taken away? The church, all church doors closed, prayer rooms closed, hallelujah. Prayer groups closing and say, well, what can we do? Because corona is taken. Is corona our, your, right now your, your excuse? Hallelujah. Is it your excuse or it was only a getaway for you to say, I could not find a way to come out of this group of people. Ah, Corona has done very well for me. Now they can't see me and they will never see me. I thank God for that. But let me tell you, it's never too late to recalibrate yourself. Because the day is coming where you are saying you used to be one of them. Why and why? Let me tell you, we are still accountable for what we have tested. You still have the grain of Christ in you. I've come to give hope to everybody. It's not a provoking message, but it's a message of saying revival has come. Let's go back and spice the body of Christ. Hallelujah, because he's a resurrected God. Yeah, hallelujah, he's going to welcome in the day of the end of the day in the name of hallelujah. And say, well done, my daughter. Well done, my son. Hallelujah, you have preached the gospel until to the end. You have taken up the cross until to the end. You have never given up when it was meant to give up. Hallelujah, did not run away from that family until, you know, to the end. You could not run away from your children. You're going to run away, hallelujah, to the minister I've given you, despite of all that you went through. I know you are going through stuff. I know whatever you are going through, but tonight, oh, just keep spicing. Keep the spice on, hallelujah. Keep spicing, hallelujah, the body of Christ. Keep doing what you've been doing. Go back and say, Pastor, tonight I'm crying my soul. I was the one who was saying I didn't like anymore. I didn't want to hear about church anymore. I didn't want to hear about pastors anymore. I didn't want to hear about anything. Come back, child of God. I know trial times, they will come, but they will pass. But those who will endure to the end, they shall have a crown. We have got a crown being set up, children of God. We have got a crown being set up tonight. So please don't give up, child of God. Hold on right now because the Lord is about to do extraordinary things. I'm going to pray with you on tonight because I know you are the woman of God. We have been set for such a time as this. Hallelujah. We've been the people who have been set for such a time as this. Imagine it did not happen at the times of Moses. It did not happen at the time of Peter. It did not happen at the time of Peter and Paul. Hallelujah. It just You are the very person to walk through the pandemic. You are the very person to walk through the coronavirus. Whatever pandemic, that's why it did not kill you. You are the one to say, I've been through the pandemic. That's where my test Starts. Hallelujah. You don't need to go to a Bible college. You don't have to go to a Bible school to try and learn. Hallelujah. Your college is just where you are walking, whatever you are going through. Hallelujah. Your, your cross journey. Hallelujah. The journey to the cross is your Bible school. Hallelujah. The spicing of the body of Christ is your Bible school. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Carrying the cross alone is your Bible school because that's your testimony. Yes, you are under attack. Yes, that's what it is right now. 
Yes, we know your marriage is on the rock. Yes, your children are right now all insane. But let me tell you, you are the right person. God saying, I am training you to understand. Because whenever, wherever, I, when I'm asking for those who have walked the journey, you can say, here I am. I've been there. Hallelujah. We want people who have been there. We want people who have been with Jesus at the cross. We don't want people who chicken out. Hallelujah. People who say, I've been at the cross. I've been at the foot of the cross. I've been at the grave. I've been at the Gethsemane garden. Where are they? Hallelujah. Where do we find ourselves standing? This is for the church of God tonight. I want you to raise up. You know what? You know where your church, where you go, your pastors and the body of Christ in your community. Children of God, it's not in the goods and the high when we have parties. This Saturday we have got a party, we've got a barbecue. No, life is not all about barbecues every day. There are people who should be with you when there's no barbecue. Hallelujah, because our friendship is based upon barbecue. It's a very recipe for disaster. Let me tell you, anything that is based upon materialistic things and based upon any other thing that you are linked to, do, if it's not Jesus Christ, let me tell you, when trial times comes, you'll find them running away. I'm not talking to you as a new thing because some of you have been victims of these things for the past 12 months. But we are bringing this and say, there's a Joseph coming to you. Hallelujah. There's a Joseph who's coming at your rescue. There's a Joseph of Arimathea coming. You are the very woman. You are the very man we are talking about. And there's someone of Cyrene who's saying, I'm carrying the cross. Someone is going to come to your help tonight. I'm praying for someone is coming to your help. This Easter, if you thought you were done and dusted, if it happened to Jesus Christ, that's why I said, don't worry in John chapter 16, verse 33. He said, don't worry about what they shall do to you. I've walked, I've been there. I've been there. Let me tell you, the very woman who's going to say, I've walked it. Jesus walked it. Then I'm walking in the footsteps of Jesus. That's why we walk in the footsteps of Jesus, not the footsteps of pastors. We are not walking in the footsteps of the men of God. No, no, stay away from the footsteps. They can lead you somewhere where you regret. Just walk on the footstep of Jesus. Hallelujah tonight. I said Simon of Cyrene is coming your way. I said Joseph of Arimathea in your dead situation is coming. He's coming. If you are there, agree with me tonight. I said if you are there, I said agree with me tonight. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Je Joseph of Arimathea. He's going to carry your body. He's going to give you a good, decent beginning. Some of you, you are saying, Pastor, I'm finished. What can I do? I said, man of God, please, you are going to make it. Yes, things were not good for the past years. Things were not good for the past time. Yes, things were not right. But let me tell you, who's going to stand with you? There are people who are coming at your rescue. Hallelujah. People who are not even in your vicinity. They never be too close to you, but they are there. Yeah, some of you have built new friends who are coming through this pandemic. Hallelujah. They are coming. As you are coming out of this pandemic, some of you are coming with good friends. Hallelujah. I can imagine now Simon of Cyrene saying, Ah, Peter, you are coming now, but where have you been when I was carrying the cross hallelujah i thank god i thank god some of you don't worry wherever you are because someone is coming when you say ah, ah it took this one where was the all this it took nicodemus to come and spice your life i'm talking to someone who's saying who can spice my life i feel naked i feel rejected i feel dejected this Chris easter i'm talking to somebody you feel dejected you feel rejected. You are in denial. You are under depression right now. You are looking left, right, and center. You can't find your job. has been actually trimmed up. And you are the one to go on right now on redundancy. You're like, come on. Who's going to stand with him? But let me tell you, there's going to be a Nicodemus. Who only really just to show up. There are people who are, can only come and show up. Have you ever been into a place where you're like, you are just walking your journey. And some people show up. And there are people who are coming to show up in this season. I'm talking to you, woman of God. I'm talking to you, men of God. I'm talking to you, to the servant of God. Whatever it is right now, this is our coming to the church of God and talk to the men and women of God. We are the children of the Most High God. The God who never failed the same yesterday and forever, He still remain. Tonight is about to do it. Healing has come. He's going to bring healing from somewhere where you never thought. Hallelujah. Just raise up your hands tonight. Because as I close, I know I'm, I can do this because it's an Easter, isn't it? We can have extra because it's good, beautiful. But I'm going to tell you something, but I say tonight, I want to pray with you. Yes, 
you are right at the foot of the cross at the right place. It's a trial moment. But you know what? At the end of it, it has got joy. It got deliverance. It got healing. Hallelujah. You are being set free. I know you are not sleeping these days. You are so, you know what, agitated. You are having sleepless nights. But I'm coming to you, I said, Simon of Cyrene is coming to carry your cross. Someone will come and say, they've come to me. How many times have you said, you have come to my rescue? How many times have we said, you have just come to my rescue? I said, right now, I'm coming here as your pastor. I'm honored to have you over this Easter. I'm honored and I'm blessed to have you this Easter. I say, children of God, let's continue to hold each one's cross. Please pick up someone's cross. Can I give you that bandit? Look for somebody, you pick up their cross. And then you are fulfilling the power of the cross. Can you pick their body? Some of them, they are looking naked. They are looking like they are no more. Can you just say, I need your body. I can cover you, my brother. Please don't leave them naked. Don't laugh at them where they are going through. You know, we've got a culture where people, when someone is going through stuff, we talk about, please tonight, just be like Simon, like Joseph Aramathia said, Pilate, can you give it to me? He wanted to give dignity. Are we laughing at each other? Are we talking about each other? Are we hurting each other? Are we covering or are we exposing? Are you covering the wound or are you adding salt on the wound? What are we doing? Where do you stand? Where do we stand? That's the question to close. I'm going to pray for you. Honestly, are you supporting the church today? Yes. Are you supporting men and women of God? Yes, are you supporting your next door neighbors? Are you supporting your, co your colleagues? Where do you find yourself in this evening? I want to pray for you. It's never too late, child of God. Don't feel bad. I'm not here to tell you to feel bad. Because I'll be very wrong to make you feel bad. Because this is the time for you and me coming together. The cross has brought our coming together. That's why we find three people are found who never worked together. But they came together on one cause. Carrying the cross, asking the blood of Jesus, and the spicing. Let me tell you. And the lenient to cover him. Are you covering or are you exposing? It's time to look for somebody. Look for someone. Please, you are a child of God. You can't afford to sit and laugh. You can't afford to keep your phone silent and not checking on somebody. This Easter. It's a very, the problem with this Easter, it's different from all other Easter's because there's no social gatherings. But some people are lonely. Are you that say this time he's single, they'll find it. That's why they kick that man out or that wife out. Please, it's not the time to do that. Those who are married, does it make you better than the other? You can still look up for each one of us and make sure somebody reaches up to somebody. Some are in depression about to hang themselves. Some are right now in suicidal thoughts. But right now, at the foot of the cross, we find people who say, I'm here to make a difference. I want to pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for every individual right now at the sound of my voice. I bring almighty God where you say, where do we stand in the community we are? Where do we stand in the world that we are? Where do we stand in the church we save? Are we here, almighty God, tonight? I'm praying for some to come back to the foot of the cross in the mighty name of Jesus, to spice the body of Christ, to support the church of God, to support the men and women of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Congregants who need support, people who are feeling broken, people who are being disenfranchised, in this time, Father God, I'm praying, raise up, Almighty God, the Joseph of Arimathea, R raise up the Simon of Cyrene, raise up, Almighty God, the Nicodemus, who are bringing spices to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Father, bring us back again, Lord. We had lost our joy, we had lost all our hope, we had lost all our zeal. Bring it back, Almighty God. I pray for revival coming back to every household tonight. Father, in the beginning of our, right now, of our Easter gatherings, so much in our rooms, in our, wherever we are, tonight in the name of Jesus, I bring right now revival back to every household in the name of Jesus. Revival in your marriage, revival in your children, revival in your workplace. You are there to make a difference. You are there to make a difference. What are we doing right now? Bring us back to the foot of the cross, Almighty God. 
we give you praise and honor. For we know at the cross we find our deliverance. At the cross we find, Father, our breakthroughs. At the cross we find all the pain is gone. Father, I'm praying for somebody tonight who is in pain. I'm praying for somebody who is sick tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. Because that's where it happened, God. It was the Friday that ignited, Father, our deliverance. It was the Friday night, Almighty God, when Jesus was buried. He was being prepared for our breakthroughs. He was being prepared for our breakthrough. Your breakthrough is in the Friday night. Your breakthrough is in the Friday evening. In the grave, I'm telling you, because the third day will always be there. You might be in the grave. You might be smelling like you are dead. But God is about to do it. Ah, Rama Sokotorobo Sika. To God be the glory tonight. I want to thank God for you to be part and parcel of this evening service. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. What we are doing, we are continuing to spice. Please tell somebody that tomorrow don't miss out. Hallelujah, we are here three days. We don't give up. I'm telling you, we work. We've been working and we are still here for you and me. Ah, you've been so amazing. You've been the Thomas. You've been really the Nicodemus. And I thank God for the Nicodemus who have been covering the body. Hallelujah. I thank God for the Joseph Aramatia who just, I'm trying to cover you. I'm trying to make sure you're not exposed. I'm trying to make sure you're not put to shame. There are brothers who are picking sisters and brothers picking sisters and everybody. You are doing the right thing in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight I thank God for your life. Have a blessed evening. Hallelujah. If you can go back again and replay, please copy and paste it. You know what? Take it, somebody. Please, it's Easter. Some people, even in the village, put them on the WhatsApp. I'll give this to you. Put it on the WhatsApp. It is easier for some people who don't have Facebook, pay, you know, Facebook accounts. That's what is important, I'm telling you. You know, just copy that one and send it, you know, the link to their WhatsApp. Then they don't have to have a Facebook. They can watch it just as a video. So God bless you, children of God, as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit live and abide with us now and forever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, children of God. It's been amazing to have our service. So we'll see you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Please tell somebody, if you've not been, please tell somebody, please come and meet us. Please so new people who don't know, who don't have churches to go to, please tell them that they connect with us. We've got some stuff that is loaded. Me and the prophetess, we've got so much stuff that is loaded for you. Ah, Sunday, explosive. So we'll have extra time on Sunday. God bless you and have a beautiful evening. In Jesus' name, happy Easter to each one of us. Amen. Tomorrow, 7 o'clock. God bless.